guys, this is another pickup video. I have some uh, games and stuff, and then I have some Beast Wars stuff because I want to start like a side collection type thing. Uh, the first thing here is this. I did not buy the whole system. It's just I already had the DS and everything. I just wanted the uh, the box for it because I don't play this DS anymore. So I figured if I can get the box for like five bucks off eBay to complete it, I will. But but yeah, everything's in there. The stickers, the the uh, wrist strap, and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. It was cheap. Um, I already had this game, but I decided if I could find a good deal on eBay, I'd get the uh, the collector's edition stuff with it. So I just bought the uh, you know the collector's edition goodies. It came with a soundtrack, which is still sealed. Um, some AR cards, which I haven't even looked at yet, but oh, those are still sealed too. Okay, yeah, AR cards. And it has an art book in it. A lot of you have probably already seen this collector's edition, but it's pretty nice. It has some art from the game and but yeah. Let's see if I can put this back how it was and I'll show you the next thing. Like I said, I already had the game, so I just bought the extra stuff. Um, I got Resistance, Fall of Man. Uh, I got this for free because it was like four ninety nine shipped, and I had a five dollar gift card from Swagbucks, so that was free and complete and in good shape and everything. I started playing it; it's pretty good. Uh, I just don't like the controls because I'm used to like nowadays first person shooters. Like this one just has some really weird controls. I haven't, like, checked around to see if I can change them yet, but... Uh, I got Resistance 3. I have two coming in the mail, which I got for, like, $3 because of a $5 card. Um, I got this for, like, 4 bucks at GameStop because I used $5 that I put towards something else, towards this, so... I got all three Resistance games for, like, 5 bucks total, something like that. Um, and I have not played 2 or 3 yet, but... Um, I can't remember if I showed this already, but... Thief, I have not yet played it myself, but my girlfriend's been obsessed with it, and uh, she likes it a lot. It's just, if you try to do all the side miss missions, it can get kind of repetitive, it seems like, because you're pretty much just sneaking around stealing stuff, you know, a lot of the times, and a lot of people have said, like, why are you stealing stuff? Like, I agree, like, why are you, why are you a thief? Like, is that just, I don't know. They didn't put a lot of backstory behind it, I guess. Um, I just got this today, uh, Infamous Second Son Limited Edition. Um, the Limited Edition was like a, a free, like, automatic upgrade if you pre-ordered it or whatever. But, uh, yeah, my case came kind of broken in the mail there, if you can see the cracks. Kind of makes me mad, but... Oh, well, I haven't tried playing it yet, but I'm going to. Um, I got this Ultimate Combo Pack. I thought this was a great deal. It was, uh... I forgot how much it was. But it was less than the price of a controller and the game together, like brand new. But I wanted Killzone, and then I found this, and I thought I'd pay like 20 something dollars more and I get a controller with it. Yeah, it sounds like a good deal to me. Um, I'm trying to make let this stuff not pile up here. I got the Final Fantasy X NX2 uh, HD Remastered. Has this nice little slip cover here. And on the inside, let me make sure there's no codes going to fall out or anything. Okay. It is an art book. Has a lot of nice art in it. Ah. You see all that. Um, the front's pretty nice. It has nice little pictures. Um, I'm playing X right now, and I am loving it. I'm like two and a half hours maybe into it, and it's pretty sweet. And this is just an adver like an advertisement about the soundtrack that's in here. But it has some lithographs. There's this one. This famous iconic picture right here. Everyone's probably seen that. Uh, that one. 
By the way, which way is the top? Is it this way or is it this way? That one. And then Yuna here. So those are pretty nice. Um, this this was seventy nine ninety nine I think. It also comes with a uh, it's like a Blu-ray, but it has all the tracks on it. And this alone sells for sixty bucks. So that that right there tells you how good of a deal this is. But uh, the game's not in there because it's in my PS3 right now. Um, and with that, I had to get the uh, strategy guide. I don't really use them. It's just for RPGs, I like to get the strategy guides. I don't know why. Um, the next thing here is the uh, Sticker Truth uh, Grand Wizard Edition. I played like an hour of this so far, and it's hilarious. I, I like. Okay, I'm not going to tell you some of the stuff I saw in there because there might be children watching. But, uh. It was vulgar, we'll just say that, which is funny. It comes with this map that's like a weird paper material, like it's not regular paper. Um, it's supposed to be hand drawn by Cartman. Pretty nice. This game is pretty fun though. This is actually a, uh, an RPG. I've never played uh, Paper Mario really, but supposedly the battle system's kind of like that. But um, yeah, I'm liking it so far. It's the whole game is pretty much like you're watching an episode of South Park, so if you like South Park, you'll like the game. Which I like South Park, but I'm not like obsessed with it. Uh, the next thing, this is probably the nicest collector's edition I've ever seen in my life, and I'm not exaggerating at all. Um, it's the uh, Tales of Symphonia Chronicles collector's edition. Uh, this thing is just amazing. Here, I'll show you what's inside of it. Has this nice slip case, nice plastic slip case here. Um, this side has all those characters. That's from Dawn of the New World, and that is from the first one. We have Colette, Kratos, or Kratos. I don't know how they say his name. Perseia. Uh, I forgot the other two. The name. I, I beat the game recently, but I forgot. Uh, we have Lloyd and all his peeps over here. It says, uh, 10th anniversary and has your number. Which I'm number 14,316 out of 18,000. You just uh, lift the top off like so. And it comes with these, uh, what are they? Chibi. Little chibi, like, bobblehead type things. I don't think they're bobbleheads. They're just big head statues. Um, I have not opened that, and I'm probably not going to, but... And then it has this uh, hardback Successors of Hope. This is the uh, a novel. It actually has chapters and stuff in it. It's a novel between the first game and the second game. So since I've already beaten the first game, I'm going to read this before I start the second game. Um, it has this really nice soundtrack, two-disc two soundtrack with a lot of songs. Uh, yeah, you can see how many songs are on this thing. I'm not going to open this because I already have the soundtrack for the first game anyways on my iPod. And I listen to it all the time, like in the car and stuff. It has a really nice soundtrack. I love the soundtrack to Tales of Symphonia. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty nice. I like it when they do that instead of the digital crap. Then we have the game itself. And I think only the collector's edition comes with this, like, really fat manual, which you don't ever see anymore. But yeah, it's, it's like full color manual and everything. And then it has a reversible cover here. Pretty nice. Like, I, I don't know about you guys, but this is the best collector's edition I've ever seen. A steel book for 10th anniversary. I think it has some, yeah, some alternate cover inside there, or more artwork actually, not alternate cover. And then an art book, a little art book. Yeah. Pretty nice. I am very, very, very impressed with this collector's edition.
And I think the collector collector's edition was only like fifty or sixty dollars when it first came out. I had to get mine a little more expensive because it was sold out. But uh, I'll just do this after the video. You don't have to put all that. Um, now this is my Beast Wars stuff, and I'm sorry if you don't like Beast Wars or if you don't know what Beast Wars are. They're uh, if you know the Transformers, they are a like a not a spinoff. It's just like a I don't know. But I found these figures at a vintage stock. Uh, this is Cheetor and Black Arachnia, and this it's in kind of rough shape. Like you can see, it's kind of coming open. But I wanted these back in the day when I saw them at Walmart. There's Rat Trap and Megatron, but uh, I didn't get them for whatever reason, but $7 each for those is a pretty good deal. They're at least 10 on eBay, I think. And I got this poster here. It's a little small poster. I think it's just advertising the DVD release or whatever, but I thought it was pretty cool when it was cheap. Beast Wars is like my favorite show of all time. Like it's really nostalgic for me. So uh yeah, I'm not just just now getting into this, but this is the source book. It's a really fine quality. Really fine quality, I sound all fancy. But uh it has all the characters and all of their like bios and stuff. Even all the ones that weren't in the show at all. And then I have this is Beast Wars The Gathering. It's the, uh, they did like a little mini series called The Gathering. It was four issues, I think, like little comic books. And this is all of them put together into one, like, bigger book, which I started reading that. And it's really good. And then this is The Ascending. It's the sequel to it. And it's four comics in one, too. And, uh, I'm trying to get all of the, uh, because each comic has, like, an alternate cover art, too. Like, there are four. They all have, like, two to four alternate covers. And I'm trying to get all of the covers, because these are pretty cheap. Here's one. These are all the mini-comics that are in these books. There's one. There's one. I know you guys probably don't care. There's Rampage, looking all sweet. I got all nine of these in a lot uh, for like $16. See, this is an example. These two are the same comic, but they have alternate covers. Like, I think they're supposed to be looking at each other or something. Like, all the good guys and all the bad guys. That one. I'm sorry if you guys don't like Beast Wars, but uh, I'm going to be including some Beast Wars pickups and within my pickup videos. But I'll try not to take up the whole video with them. And I got this uh, board game. This is only like $5 on eBay. Uh, they had a sealed one for like 60 but I don't want to pay 60 I was trying to wait for it to drop in price, but yeah, it's pretty cool. It's from the 90s. But yeah. Well guys, that is all of my pickups. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you didn't, sorry. Uh, I'll see you guys later.